Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkin Wiersma and today we're going to do a blooming update for the month of August already. I'm not ready for fall and winter yet, you guys, but anyhow, <laughs> we are getting there again. Yeah, I'm going to uh, start with a bit of an overview of my Miltonia orchids, as you can see. And I'm going to leave it for that for now, because this Sunday I have them all uh, close up in in view. I'm going to do a whole video on them on my Miltonia orchid, so uh, I don't want to overdo it. So therefore I'm just showing you guys them quickly, but yeah, every excuse to show these beautiful big specimen blooming Miltonias I take, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> but uh, behind this beauty over here we have this one still in bloom. This is the uh, Brassia Orange Delight, or I have it still as a Brassia. These beautiful yellow blooms when they just open up and they will start to uh, get a more orange hint to them when they do get older. But that one is there in this corner. And then I have this one there. And Inse, if you watch this video, you did get a piece of this one. Yes, did it, this is better. So we have two buds and a flower. And I cannot uh, reach the name tag, but this is one that I also did send to Inse Orchids. It has a beautiful cream yellow color on the flower, beautiful shape. And I will put the name in the screen if I don't forget, but uh, that one is uh, close to my uh, orange delight blooming here in this corner. So let me stand up and then we go over here. And here I have one of the two in the back where we have another one. Big spikes on the billabong. But I see a billabong and look at those colors. And the flower and the spikes are so long. Absolutely long, I think about a meter or so. Here's another one. Absolutely beautiful. So that one is um, blooming over here. And then next to it, I have no name for this one. Also a brushier type. I love those colors, a little bit greenish with that burgundy red. Very nice, I think. And then I have my Shilap Tolkien here. Also very beautiful blooms. And yes, I have them on the floor because the spikes will otherwise <laughs> reach the ceiling. So there I have no room currently up, up here. As you can see, there's one even going in between there, but on the shelf and otherwise they will uh, touch the ceiling and that will damage them. So that's why they are currently on the floor. And then we have this beautiful Dendrobium Puff 58 fragrant. That's how, uh, how it's called, believe it or not. It's beautiful. I really, really love this bloom. The yellow and the whites again. <laughs> I always enjoy them. And it's just beautiful, very large spike, as you can see. Then up here we have this big one. This is my Spring Eclipse. And these are the blooms. I hope I can show it. It's fairly light, the backdrop, but I cannot really see the glare. Uh, I cannot see what I'm doing because of the glare on my screen, but I hope you can get a good sight of it. It's also a fairly long spike. It's all the way, tip is all the way up there. <laughs> and it's currently working on another two spikes on this one, one here, one here. It had another one, but I did break it off while I was watering the plant. Yeah, that's not handy. Then let's go down here again. We have this beauty. I have no name for it. As you can see, it has a fairly tall spike as well. I really enjoy this uh, warmer weather, very bright weather. The Dendrobium phenolopsis. And then they give these beautiful large spikes. And this one is also working on another one over here. And while we're in this corner, I love this beauty. Almost blue. <laughs> do you recognize it? You probably do. Androium Victoria uh, Regi Regina. Regina, Regina. Let me quickly show the name. 
there. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Then up here I have my Anna Green. This Dromium Anna Green. Beautiful colors. I really like that green with a dark purple lip. It looks beautiful. Then the blue happiness. Let me see. This is fairly fresh bloom, I think. And this one is working on such another big spike. And just the first one opened up today. <laughs> Beautiful, like I said, warm weather, bright days, they really enjoy it. Another one, it's also a no ID. Look at that. This one is always putting up quite a show. Several spikes, and it's even working on those two there. So, and one here, one there. Oh, this is going crazy. Four, five, six, seven. Seven spikes, as far as I can see now. So yeah, that would be nice if all of them were still in bloom. Anyhow, in the back there, it's hard for me to read. <laughs> it is my uh, sherry baby. Let me zoom in there. And this one is gives, giving such a beautiful fragrance. There we are, even more of those beauties. Uh, actually, I have my red ruby. Uh, that is also a sherry baby type. Where am I? Here I am. <laughs> but that one is going over. But still, we have some blooms. We have some blooms. And I'm quickly checking if I didn't forget anything here. No, I don't think so. And we still have some fells in bloom. Beautiful fells. Some old leaves going of <laughs> Las Vegas, still very beautiful, and some more fails. If you didn't already see it, but I have a whole video on them, so I will uh, link that. It's a little bit easier, otherwise it will take up uh, way too much time to do them all uh, one by one. Here we have my uh, golden peacock. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. And next to it is also a, almost the same shaped flower that is over here. And it's not from coming from the same plant. It is obviously we can see the dots a little bit of difference, but the shape is uh, similar. These blooms are obviously a little bit level up <laughs> a little bit bigger this is the name for this one here canary orange canary orange is always blooming for me from the new growths so this one is doing fine then we have still these beautiful blooms on my forbesi forbesii i did get some help for the name but i i apologize i try my best but it's not really uh, i'm not really good at it for me, it's for Bessiae. And like Michael uh, McCarthy said, it still has this greenish color to it, but the veining is still orange. Uh, not orange, uh, pink, I'm sorry. I hope you can see it. I'm not sure if my uh, camera does pick it up, but it's beautiful, beautiful color combination. And then we have this beautiful lip. Look at that contrast in there. Absolutely beautiful. If you ask me, <laughs> Then this one, this one has a beautiful citric scent to it. It's a no ID Catalea, but six blooms on one spike. Absolutely beautiful because we have even one here. So yeah, we have six of these beauties, but it's not completely opening up. And that's, that's, I like them when they are a little bit better when they're completely open. But I love the, I love, I love the contrast that beautiful white with that beautiful yellow and the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. At least for me, because I like a citric type of uh, fragrances. Next to it, this is probably the biggest color changer that I have amongst my orchids. 
and this is the let me grab the tag the whoops blc golden thing h and r this will uh, almost get completely yellow and when well, that's the petals and the sepals the lip will still stay the same if i don't forget i will put a picture in the frame but yeah this will be uh the next time i hope i can film it and then you will see it uh, that it's way more yellow over here and then this is a also a fairly common arcade amongst our uh, youtube growers and I have it still listed as an Epidendrum Green Hornet, but it's now Encyclia, I believe. Encyclia Green Hornet. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful spikes. Uh, blooms, I'm sorry. Then my Wilbert Chang. Bulbophyllum. Bulbophyllum. Two spikes. It's currently working on more spikes, but two of them are in bloom. Well, uh, actually, this one is, is a new bud. Sequential, as you probably can see. So this gives quite a few blooms on one spike, which is beautiful. I really, really like that, of course. Then over here I have still my yellow Vanda. This is starting to drop a few flowers. It will happen eventually, <laughs> but I think it still looks pretty nice. Let me uh, see, yeah. And then over here, uh, how I'm going to do this? I think this is the best way. I'm sorry for the backdrop, but this is uh, the orchid that I, the vanna that I did get from Incel. Look at that. It's the second spike so far. As you can still see, we have some buds that come. But it also is working on another spike already. Let me uh, quickly see if I can find it. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, it's not will take up too much time but believe me there's another spike coming and then soon this one will have two spikes as well so that's good news good news and then down here you guys isn't see beautiful i'm going to lift up the spike a little bit stop heavy my fires tinkerville probably these are a little show up a little bit better it's a bit more open yeah there we go look at that Stunning, stunning if you ask me. Beautiful and even too big for this uh, shelf here. <laughs> the flower spike, so I have it here a little bit more on the floor on the greenhouse. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I really love it. And then over here, I still have some flowers on my epidendrums. So, you yeah, know, one and my red dragon. Still here with some flowers. Yeah, and then we have this fell over here. Beautiful blooms. Oops, I really like the colors. And I'm going to show you this one. Not how it happens all the time. This is the first, well, actually, the first time that it has two spikes, but they are opened up at the same time. This is a Bellina type. Then left is Bellina. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that is uh, most of the looms over here. Let's go inside of the orchid room. And I'm not sure if you uh, saw it last Sunday, but I did have uh, cleaned up the room and did uh, uh, reorganize uh, stuff. So, uh, and I'm still incredibly happy with it because it has uh, gives me so much more room. See, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And what is also still beautiful, I still have some Miltoniopsis in bloom. Actually, this is a fairly fresh new spike. Second time this one is blooming this year. And I'm not complaining at all, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I have quite a, quite for quite a long time these blooms now. Yeah, this one is still in be beautiful bloom. <laughs> in bloom. And I also did repot not that long ago my uh, Her Alexander, and its bloom is still on there, believe it or not. <laughs> and then, yeah, over here, 
these these look very nice color wise but this lip should be a lighter pinkish color it's the newton falls so yeah this one really needs to come out of it but it's uh, highest on the list trust me <laughs> and down here we have this beautiful one still in bloom and that one is also making a another spike over there and i just saw that this one it has only one had only one button there because the bulb is not looking that good but it does open up this flower which is beautiful absolutely beautiful and the arc itself is doing okay this part is not doing that well but luckily in the front is doing better it has a new growth also needs a repot and maybe i need to split it but nonetheless the bloom is beautiful i think over here i still have some bloom but they are about to go over on my odontoclosum naivian as you can see but still kind of nice i think sadly not really long for this world but the spikes were quite quite big at least those two so i'm very happy with that and then i have this zygopetalum in pesto blue still looking uh, nice it's quite some blooms very nice i think the Sagonesia is going over had also several spikes but we do get a new one over here so soon we have some fresh blooms then down here yeah this one is also dropping her flowers yeah this one's also almost done done blooming there is that one yeah my master value is working on about that yellow one and also is my uh my magnum uh, dendrophyllum yes magnum is working on four new growths and all of them are about to bloom so that's quite nice for the next update then over here well manelli eiler two spikes it's not completely open yet but it's getting there it's getting there just just in about then we have this one yeah this is probably a mislabeled arc it's beautiful i think it's beautiful but this is the one that i did it's from equigenra and it should be this one which is a yellow one yellow greenish one well <laughs> not even close sadly but what can we do it's still okay but i have something that looks very similar but yeah the bloom is still beautiful but i i am a bit sad because i really wanted that one it's not easy to find for sure then we have this no id still blooming but as you probably can see the blooms are about to go over but still it looks beautiful with these with these two fairly large spikes <laughs> then my sturbic is about to bloom again but not yet and then i need to find a way maybe you saw just a glimpse of it i have a new cymbidium market so these are not my blooms but look at these beauties sadly one of my cymbidiums died so i thought I said to myself if i find a almost pure yellow one i will get it and two days later <laughs> i wasn't planning on it i saw it for sale and i thought yeah this is my chance and you can see it's not a very big one so that's that's very nice and i did buy also some mini fails as you can see these are going into one series i'm going to do no not not a series i'm going to make one video with i think six steps i'm currently at six steps to uh, get them adapted in a, a semi hydroponic system and i will follow them until they are all completely adapted to self-watering and i will try to make one video out of it so i have covered every step that i take in one video i think that's nice and i'm trying to not overdo it time wise but i think uh, 
it will be nice and I chose these three fails because first of all I like them they are very pretty and those were for me the uh, dif most difficult to get um, adapted to a semi hydroponic setup but anyhow that's for later on so one day you will see this video it may take a few months but uh, that's why they, those are here <laughs> let's continue with this blooming update you need to focus yes I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> Look at this beauty. This is probably not completely sure, but oh, don't talk of some tiger tail or something like that. Very, very stunning, and it's just starting with this new spike. I think it's very beautiful. Let's put that name tag back. Then we have this beautiful over here, and this. It reminds me of uh, Ennis, I think you pronounce it like that, the fragrance, and I absolutely love it. It's a bit sweet fragrance with a bit of hint of Ennis in there, which is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And yes, I have a name for it, it's a fairly long name, but if you are interested in this one, try to look up this one. Oh, I'm sorry, the text is a little bit dirty. There we go. What a name, right? Yeah. <laughs> Try to pronounce it. I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> but this is it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the fragrance. The fragrance is absolutely fantastic. It's in my top three. Most, most wanted fragrance. Or most uh, liked fragrance, I should say. <laughs> then I have two puffy opedlums in bloom, and those would be the last ones for these uh, updates for August. This is the first one, it's a no ID. Nonetheless, still beautiful. And then, of course, it's in every uh, video these days. <laughs> Pinocchio Alba. I bought it in bloom and it kept on blooming, even though I did repot it, and it made this huge new growth. Look at this leaf. In comparison to this one, this is the actual mother plant, as you can see, but this is a new growth. <laughs> and it's, but it's, it's sequential blooming, obviously. And that's why I love the name, Pinocchio. <laughs> it's still in bloom, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, did I forget something? No, I don't think so. Let me uh, get over here. So I don't have that strong uh, backlight, at least a little less. So yes, you guys, we are there at the end of this. Well, no, no, oh, wait. See, this happens every single time to me. In the corner of my eye, I saw a hint of a bit of pink little blooms. Oh, I almost, almost did forget it. I saw the one of you guys. It has one spike open. As you can see, there are more to come. Speaking of fragrances, this one has also a beautiful fragrance. Almost forget it. Luckily, I'm in time. I apologize, you guys. That was another orchid in bloom. And I think I now did cover them all. Not sure, but who knows, who knows. So uh, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And of course, if you have any questions or something to add to this video, please feel free to add it in the comment section below. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.